Another try, my friends. I don't even know if we got the wheel bonus. Yeah, we do. Okay. Okay. What do we do here? Let me see. Bum, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum. We can go for like two elites. Get crazy. Oh! Click the wrong one. Okay, so I changed my path. Um, okay, we'll do the same path. We just won't go to the shop. I was going to get 100 gold and go to the shop. And then do two elites. But uh, this, this will work out if we get something good. What's up, Chilla? How you doing? I meant to take the gold. I meant to take the gold and go to the shop. And then I clicked that. And then I was like, okay. No, I literally meant to take the gold. That's why I was like, oopsies. You got whirlwind. That's work. That's good. If we get if we get the triple century, that's pretty good. Is there like an ending to Slay Spire or the heart of the end of something that had to, uh, I don't know. I think they left it open ended. It's like kinda of like the heart of uh like roguelikes or whatever. Is that it's just kind of an open ended thing. Two damage off. Feels bad. Oh, it took, that took me a while to, for me to formulate that. Uppercut, I like it. Okay, this is actually really good. We So we took two strikes out and replaced it with two de decent cards. Is this worth it? It takes seven. If I do this, I'm taking five. Feels bad. So I end up taking the same amount. Now I'm taking three, so I probably end up taking more in the long run. Shrug. Ancient. I think Ancient Pot with like the steroid pot is gonna, it's gonna be a guaranteed kill on one of the elites. Uh, we'll move another strike. Upgrade the uppercut. And I think we definitely have great, great uh, elite killing potential. Do I want to do the steroid pot for this one or do I want to save it for the next one? Steroid pot, artifact pot for this one makes it so that Whirlwind just kind of destroys them, huh? I can save it for the boss. No, I think I'll oh, use it for this one. Get it out of the way, and then or the um, next elite will will have better cards by then. Welcome back, Bloody. How you doing? Kills the guy in the front. Doesn't kill the guy in the back. That's all good. Really, you're loading. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't realize. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm proud of that. She did. She did mention it. She mentioned that she she started putting herself back, which uh, I think is a good thing. Twin strike, pommel strike, anger. Good twin strike. Upgrade the whirlwind. In what world are we doing three leaps now? I don't think we're doing three. We're doing two. Is fine. From the way I got lose all golds, um, remove two cards. I was gonna get a hundred golds, but I clicked this, which is it's still fine. Removing two strikes, not a big deal. Rather, not a bad choice. Rather. What's up, Manuel? How you doing? You should keep going. Yeah, it, she she was that she she had a hundred thousand more subs, man. When when she went down with it, she was at a hundred something thousand subs. You know, so it's it was it was it's complicated. Um, let's do this.
Talking about my girlfriend. In flame. In flame in the membrane. In flame in the pain. Oh my god. Oh my. So we got Fiend Fire, Sword Boomerang, or Body Slam. I like Fiend Fire. I'm a big fan. Well, I don't really like Fiend Fire in this deck. I take that back. It's too late now, but. Let's remove another strike. But then if we use remove a strike, then what are we Fiend Firing? We'll find out. Next time, on Jeremy Makes Bad Decisions. I don't know if she's gonna get around to it. AK never. You just lost the saddle because you moved all your strikes? Yeah, typically you gotta be careful with that, but uh... In this case, um... I've got decent offensive options. But the Fiend Fire is just back in my deck so thin as it is. But I use it as a finisher. Do I ever do some EU streams? Um, yeah. I, um... I've been starting later recently. But, um, I can get back on doing the EU, more EU friendly. I don't know what's more EU friendly. I don't know if it's more EU friendly to go like, like early for me, like, I don't know, early-ish, like 10 a.m. PST or like super late in the a.m. I would assume that super late in the a.m. would be probably better. So if I like, let's say I start streaming, let's say I start streaming like at 11 p.m. on my time, then it's probably like morning time for EU. But if I stream like 10 a.m., 11 a.m. for me, it's gonna be like 6, 7, 6, 7 p.m. over in the EU. It's, I don't know. <laughs> I hear you, man. Yeah, I'm gonna start working on the schedule. Okay, so we got Impervious, Double Tapper, and Demon Form. Uh, dude, what is this deck doing? I mean, I think Demon Form's okay here. We got Whirlwind to dump the strength. It makes Inflame a little redundant. I mean, Double Tap could be interesting. Double Tap with the strength that we have with the Whirlwind Uppercut kind of stuff. Demon Form is too slow. We would double tap. Although I think Impervious is probably just, just as good as well. I would do that. That can get awkward. It's been a while since I've had Choker. That can get kind of awkward, but you know, energy's energy. We're not complaining. I'm gonna go prioritize these shops because this gives me more um, removal. How much removal do we want? I mean, at this point, I can start taking up curses to, to get the removal. Let's go, Poggers. Poggers. Funeral Pain with um, Fiend Fire is amazing. Another Funeral Pain? Damn. Now, now they're getting me intrigued. Uh, double Funeral Pain? I'm doing it. Let's remove another strike. Okay, still kind of awkward. I just don't like Fiend Fire in a deck that like is so small as it is. I have 15 cards in my deck. Now, if I had a reason to be exhausting my deck, let's say I had Spell Weakness or Limit Break I want to cycle into or, you know, Searing Blow, whatever, whatever, then I wouldn't mind. 
Rampage, you know? We're gonna get so much damage to the face right now. This is gonna hurt. That's 22 plus, uh... That's a lot. The answer is a lot. Seen red? Seen red, it gives me some defense with Funeral Pain and it works with Whirlwind. Only problem is it's awkward with this developer choker. I'm taking it anyways. I, I think that might have been a bad decision, but... I'm curious. Let's choose. Okay, we have Disarm, True Grid, Whirlwind. Now, True Grid helps me with um, getting more value out of my Funeral Pains. But Disarm is just fantastic. Damn. Tough choice. Skip, skip. Oh, shit. Glad to be catching hey, some SDS you, today. Hope the runs are jing well. Thanks for the hours of entertainment. Oh, thank you for the five months in a row. Welcome back. You can go for an elite. Do we feel confident with the elite? Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. You ready for this, guys? You ready for the poggers? Clap, 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 clap. Let's go. Easiest elite of my life. So Sentinel... Man, I can't pick these cards. Oh, that was an elite, by the way. Just uh, FYI. Paint's giving me some more block, and I'm happy for it. Ooh, this is kind of cool, right? We do this to get some block. Bam. Weaken. Bam. Block. Slam. I don't know if I have lethal. If I just did scene red whirlwind, I didn't check. Probably should have checked. And it doesn't make it even cheaper car remover. So this doesn't actually make anything cheaper. Oh, well, maybe it does. Oh wait, it does, it does. Sorry, it, how did I forget that? What about double whirlwind in our deck? That's weird. That's weird, huh? Let's check this. I don't think courier works like that, though. Let's find out. Oh my god, prismatic shard. You can't do this to me. The curse is back. And I'm feeling so tempted by the glittering shard. Damn. Damn. Uh, there's also a spell weakness. Real quick before we before we inevitably pick up the the shard. We got spell weakness, which we could use to um, you know make our deck smaller and get a lot of scaling. Expel Weakness is really good here, because we can just get into that pretty often. And the scaling is going to be very useful against this champ. We're doing it, though. I mean, we can't not do it. R.I.P. That's, that's, and it was in that moment when the run started going downhill. Jeremy didn't realize it then, but he had fell once again into the lures of the Prismatic Shard. Prismatic Shard slowly snickered underneath its breath. Seen red just to get blocked. Poggers. Uh oh. But the spot weakness was so good. 24. Mm. Ooh. Alright, if we get an echo form, that would be sick. One of these is not like the other. That's pretty... That's pretty... Meh. Another elite. So we, we, we took the Slayer fight. We took the Slayer fight. 
if we had a steroid fire, we kill, kind of killed it, right? So this could be the Gremlin Leader or the uh, Book of Stabbing. Book of Stabbing, we have Disarm. But aside from that, ah, we're doing it. We got this. Oh no, I needed that earlier. We need to get, we need to get our, our, what's called, Red Skull activated. Is this the time? We can get more out of that, right? We can wait till Red Skull becomes a thing. Gotta be greedy about it. Oh, this is Pog Champ. That is Pog Champ damage. Wow. That combo alone. Now the Red Skull comes, and then we just finish it off. Easy. Noxious Fumes, you know... It's really not the kind of card I'm looking for, but you know, Sucker Punch is really nice. Think about it. A weaken on the. We already have Uppercut though. Yeah, these are not very useful. Yeah, it's scaling, but Spot Weakness would have been infinitely better. Heavy Blades, Garbanzo Beans. I don't like Heavy Blade. What's up, Festive Bestive? Hey, how you doing, Insan? Insan Red Crayon. Oh, a insane red crayon. That makes more sense. <sighs> Noxious Fumes? I guess it's scaling, but it's kind of extremely slow for what our deck is doing. But the champ might just run over us, huh? How do we survive the champ? Yeah, but this is not going to help against the champ. We'll see. We'll see. It's time to find out. Spot Weakness would have been... I, sh I mean... It's okay. It, it's Prismatic Shard. I, I shouldn't be attacking though. I should let Noxious Doom stack up. That's too tempting. I can't make up my mind. I want to either attack or uh, let the Noxious Fume stack up. Looks like I'm attacking. But I gotta stop attacking. Okay, 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 okay. Honestly, we have six strength. I feel like we can just, as long as we time it so that we don't hit, get hit by his, um, the vulnerable, we should be fine. Like, if I can. Do enough damage now to split them. Then I won't be vulnerable for his execute, but that's not really like the best amount of damage. I don't really want to lose the uppercut. Ah, uh, I think we're just dead to the execute. I think I was too premature. Double tap Whirlwind is doing... Double tap Twin Strike is doing... 22. 22, it's 44, right? 44, and then the rest of this is doing... Well, this is strictly... Yeah, it's just 44, and then... 1, 2... And then 28 twice, which is uh, 56. 56, 44. Easy. <laughs> okay. I guess it works out. Whoa, we got a meteor strike. That's absolutely garbage. But, you know, the secret technique is interesting. The secret technique is interesting. I job back to school. <laughs> I job was trying to make me messed up, huh? He was tro trolling me. Tick Choker? Yeah, we took Choker, but for our deck, it's actually fine. Just smacking them up with a uh, double tap and whirlwind. Secret technique. I'll take the secret technique. Alright. More. But that's gonna destroy the prismatic shard. We can't let that happen. Let's take the potions. 
and try to get things like steroid pots and stuff. We don't know Deco, that's fine. We have double funeral pain. I'm fine with about that fight. We have removal here at these shops. And we have also have courier. Potentially three cards removal if we want to. Do I want to remove three cards? I would move the bash at this point. It makes funeral pain so awkward though. I mean it makes uh, fiend fire so awkward. But I'm going there. Let's see what we get. I need a battle trance. It's kind of not that great. That first turn was pretty bad. Rebound. Yeah, I'm not liking these cards. <laughs> Rebound. That could be cool. Rebound could be sick with Limit Break. Rebound, Limit Break, or Limit Rebound Entrench. There's potential there. It's like Headbutt, but the other way around. Um, Skippy, Skippy. I'm lacking defense. Yeah, I am lacking defense, yeah. Ooh, I swear with the bash. Yo, mystery thin with the Twitch Prime. Welcome. Thank you for the support, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the germ pool. Tiny chest. Hey, let's do it. Got a couple of events coming up. This is not really good for me. I'm just going to lose the max HP. Another in flame. I feel like another flame is fine just because we are... Our deck is really... Yeah, we'll take it. Our deck is really just Whirlwind and Uppercut or Busts. Don't forget that Noxious Humes. So, Whirlwind would kill them, but I would take... 35 to the face. This doesn't seem worth, right? Taking 35 to the face? Well, this should be 28 to the face. Does not seem worth. Let's use this. Yeah, that's, that makes it better. Now I only take... Um, 28 to the... 18 to the face. Eh... Wasn't worth, but... Oh my god, we Cloak and Dagger with Funeral Pain? Oh my god. I just found the best card I could have found. Cloak and Dagger and Funeral Pain. Oh, it's glorious. Except this hand is so shitty. My god. Holy macaroni. Cloak and Swagger, baby. And then double tap with the ship to get more defense? Oh, boggers. I just gotta survive this stuff. Because we are taking damage. A lot of damage. Better opener, yeah. Okay, Cloak and Dagger gave me so much defense. Oh my god, Cloak and Dagger's insane. Oh, we survived. We survived. We got Gyria. Ooh hoo hoo. Okay, I'm gonna take Finesse. Although Finesse is really well skewer. It's like Whirlwind, but for single target. That'd be interesting. 
I don't know if we want it though. I feel like we definitely need more defense and skewer is not the direction we need to take this deck. It would be interesting, but... Yeah, Finesse is just not going to Choker. I think Skewer could be good. If we can if we can round out with some defense with it, I, I, I'll make it work. Oh boy, this fight could be rowdy, except we got this. Never mind, this fight's just fine. Mal Cloak and Dagger again. I know Malaise is insane. Right, Malaise is just insane. But Cloak and Dagger is such an, a value engine. Cloak and Dagger is giving me... 20 block every time I play it. 20 block. I can't say no to it. It's just too good. Fucking... Is this the side run? What is this? Holy shit. Okay. Um, I'm upgrading Cloak and Dagger. Wait a second. This is not fair. So Iron Clay gets the benefit of Cloak and Dagger and Bottle Lightning. Mm, bottle. What would we like to bottle? So if we see your technique, we can bottle anything. Oh, we got choker. Fuck. Got too excited. So secret technique is like bottling anything, but that's another thing for choker. Yeah. It's a cloak and dagger bottle. All right. This flame barrier or removal. We'll do flame barrier. All right, so let's pop the defense. So Skewers is better here. Negative effect on me? I don't want that. Oh, that's the negative effects? Damn. Whoa, this is smunk ass right now. This is monk ass. I, re I really, 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 really need um, Funeral Pain out right now. We we need like a weekend. Oh, thank God we got a weekend. Oh my God. Oh, boy. Oh my god, this is so butt-clenching right now. This is such a butt-clencher. Oh my god. Oh yes, we got a Weaken, and we got ships. He gets down to 33, so if I do disarm plus uppercut, that gives me 7. Oh my god. Queen Fire Pot Champ. Skewer is. So if I do Scene Red. Skewer is something else, but I could do Skewer, and then Scene Red Fiendfire. How much is this? It's 27 times uh, 6. That's lethal, isn't it? Wait, yeah. 120 plus uh, 42? Yeah. Hope I'm not doing- Oh, it's times seven. Okay. No, no, it's times six. Well, I'm so scared to do it. It's like guaranteed lethal. I'm just like being- Being a fancy about it. Okay, okay, we're good. We got- we survived. Dead branch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, oh my god. Why do you make the run so nutty after choker? This would get really weird with shivs. And we have choker. 
This is actually... It's actually bad, though. I can't do it. Because I, I won't be able to do infinite stuff with Choker. And then I'm going to have a really fat deck. The nut is too much nutty. Dude, it's the Curse of the Shard. Let's see the cards first. I don't mind that. I get double tap Fiend Fire, and that is that worth it for all the crap I'm gonna be getting in my deck, which means less cloak and daggers. No, but corruption is even worse because I can't really go infinite with the uh choker. Yeah, I, I would love it, but I think the choker. Damn, this is the first time I'm sipping the dead branch, huh? How often do I reshuffle? Well, in the boss fight... Well, we shuffle a couple times. We sh sh shuffle back into Cloak and Dagger. Is reshuffling important for us? I feel like when you have things like Skewer... And the Cloak and Daggers as your way to block, it, reshuffling is pretty important. Don't attack is giving me free block regardless. Don't attack is giving free block regardless, but um, hmm. Don't attack is the easy boss fight for me because of uh, I have double funeral pain. We got we got to survive the first turn to get double funeral pain out. Uh, the second fight is gonna be if it's the awakened one, I would like the dead branch, probably. Again, the awakened one. If I survive turn one, two, and three, I get, once I get my funeral pains out, I'll have a good engine, and that's gonna mess up the engine because if I can just make the deck small, a fiend fire right, and keep the deck down to like cloak and daggers i have consistent defense i have to skip it sorry dead branch i have a plan in mind the plan in mind did not include the damn reptomancer i'll tell you that much choker please not like this not like this not like this Not like this. Man, turn one, two, three is so hard for me. That's the problem, man. I don't have battle trains. I don't have bag of prep. I just don't. I don't see enough cards in the first couple turns. Is there a way that we survive here? Let me see. If I do, um. You mean to tell me if I focus the guy in the beginning? Say I did 40 damage in the direct dimension in the beginning, right? And then this when it comes down to this, I've got 18 times 4. Would it be enough? 72 plus 40, it's only 112. So he wouldn't die regardless. And then, so Fiendfire is giving me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4 block times, so it's gonna be a 12 block. If I do Flame Barrier plus Fiendfire, I'm getting. Sorry, I'm getting 12 and 12. 24 block. 24 block, and that means I can kill the guy on the right. I'm still taking an extra. Damn, too much. Still not enough. Still not enough. Fiendfire plus skewer. So Fiendfire is going to be a 21 plus uh, times 4. 21 times 4 is 84. And if I did 40 damage in the beginning, it's only 124. Oh my god, and if I hit letter opener proc, that's 129. No matter the iteration, I'm dead. Oh, Fiendfire does include itself, but I only have one I only have one uh I only have one fatal pain now, so three block, right? So if I'm doing this, then it includes itself. So it's gonna be 16 plus 
12. It's 28 block, right? But 28 block and kills the guy who does 25. I'm still dead to the guys on the right and left. Oh, I could be donuts. I could be the donuts. Because I rest, I rest, I get a nice rest to get a card. And then I'll take some damage in the donuts. But once I get the funeral pain out, I'm pretty sure donuts is fine. It's going to be tough, but I, I could be donuts. We can science. We can science and try the first turn again. I think there's no way. I just, I did the math in my head. I think even if we get letter opener and the two, sh all shivs on the Reptomancer, I'm short by one damage. I'm pretty sure. Because if I do. F well, I didn't take into account the inflame. I didn't take that into account. I can't even get all ships on the bus. It's impossible. It's impossible. Because I, I don't have enough... Choker just ruins me. So even with Stereo Putt now, it's... Uh, Eighty-four. Yeah, rip. Yeah, no, I'm not trying to block. I can't block next turn. There's no way I can block next turn. There's no way I can block next turn. If the turn before I did, you know, playing letter opener. If for some way I can get letter opener, it wouldn't matter if I get letter opener because I I don't have shivs now to kill the guys on the left and the right. It's got bad draws, but my deck's, I guess, kind of inconsistent. Yeah, this deck needs to survive for turn 1, 2, and 3, and then it's, it pops off. Feels bad. Whirlwind would have been sick. I could have survived with Whirlwind. Damn, it would have been sexy, but you know what? Prismatic Shard's cursed, guys. It's cursed. There's also the Choker, so if I didn't take the Choker, I would have had a much harder Act 2, because I wouldn't have had the energy. But if I could get through there and then I end up getting an energy relic, this would be a, a great run with Dead Branch and all that stuff. I wonder what Dead Branch would have done, actually. If I use Dead Branch, I could do Fiendfire straight up. Or like on the first turn, because of Dead Branch, I could do the shivs. I don't know what it would have done for us. <laughs> Anyways, GG. Reptile Mancer. Cool run though, cool run. Prismatic Shard. We almost made it. Almost made it. It would have been cool.